Hey everyone, this is Alec, and in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing Glorify App, a brand new graphic design tool made specifically for marketers, e-commerce business owners, web designers, funnel builders, and any type of business owner, and I'm going to show you exactly how. Once you log into the dashboard, you can tell everything is organized in a clean and clear way. Before we dive into the main area of the dashboard, I want to show you a couple of the features that make Glorify so powerful. If you go over to the left-hand sidebar, you can actually set up brands. And in the brand section, you can actually upload a logo, create a basic logo, upload your fonts, upload your color palettes, and much more. It's a great way to get a cohesive look, and this is going to be something that you can easily implement into your designs. I'm going to go ahead and show you how you can do that. Let's go ahead and add a new brand. You can upload or use the logo maker. For this case, I'm going to go ahead and just use the logo maker. With Black Friday going to be rolling around soon and then Christmas, I'm just going to go ahead and make a Christmas uh, themed page and a Christmas theme uh, landing page here in a little bit. So let's call it the Snowy Station. I want it to be fun, clean, and simple. I think I'll go ahead and just make it black. And, you know, I want it to represent snow, so I'll type in snow and we'll search. And I think this snowflake would, you know, be a good logo. Now Glorify has actually created us a logo, and we can actually see some of the mockups that they've created for us here. And this is pretty cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and save this, and I'm going to continue uh, building out the brand. Okay, now that we're in here, this is where you continue to build out the brand. So you can actually upload your logo on dark, uh, white, and black, you know, different, you know, variants and things like that. You can add in your fonts for your headings, subheadings, and body text, which I think is really awesome. And then uh, you can add your colors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and quickly pause the video. I'm going to make a color palette and coolers, and I'll come right back. And I'll have my color palette input it into here. And it's really easy. Once you find your hex value, you can actually just input it right into here. Okay, I grabbed a color palette off of coolers for the example brand that we're working with here. Now, Glorify is amazing at creating product images, and that's where it really shines. However, they do an amazing job at creating web design graphics, funnel graphics, ebooks, social media designs, and so much more. So let's talk about those. In their dashboard here, you can see that you can create a custom size, or you can actually just see that they have common sizes already pre-made for you. In all of their common sizes, they have beautiful templates laid out for you to actually start from so that you don't have to start from scratch. I'm going to go ahead and create a design, and we're going to start from a common size, and we're going to start with a template. For my case, I'm actually going to choose a hero and header so we can work with something like, you know, a website design. You can click on it here and then enter a keyword, and then that's going to be great for you know, finding things that are specific to what you're looking for. However, I kind of just want to browse through their templates. So I'm just going to go down here and I'm going to look at all the different templates that they have. And I'm going to find where they have HD banner 1920 by 1080. And you can see uh, that this is really good for click funnels, Instapages, Convertry, Shopify, Wix, WordPress, Squarespace, all those good things. It's going to be great for web design. So I'm just going to hit view all. And all of these beautiful templates start to load up. And you can really start to see how you can use this for your web design and get beautiful hero images and product images. And I'm going to just kind of break this down and show you how I'm able to use this for my funnels myself. I like this template here. I think this has a nice Christmas vibe. Probably just change some of the colors up and this will give me a good idea for how I want to start doing my landing page. So I'm going to go ahead and hit use this template. And what you uh, can see here is that they've got different sizes that you can use this for too. So you could actually make a size for uh, your background on a computer, and then you could go and make a optimized version for phones using the same similar graphics, and they'll actually go ahead and optimize it for you. So that's super cool. Now that we're in the editor, I'm going to show you how you can take a template like this and then turn it into something that's on brand for your business. All right, let's go ahead and look how we can do that. What I like to often do is go into pages and make a duplicate of my page. The reason that I do this is because I like to go back and see how the original edit looked before I made all the changes to it. So I'll go back to page one and I'm going to just go ahead and make a couple different edits to this page. For my use case, and it's different for everybody, 
However, I don't want all the elements to just be on the page and then export that as a graphic. I kind of want to export different pieces um, as their own layer and then input them onto the web design uh, portion of everything piece by piece as it goes later. And I'll talk about that in a little bit. But I'm going to show you how I would edit this. And so Glorify has a you know, very powerful uh, feature called their branded feature. And this works really great, and I love it for things like their ebooks and product images and their website graphics. And you can just go ahead and hit the snowy station, and you can regenerate the brand, and it'll just start branding it to your colors. And I love how it does that. Um, now you can see the background is not changing, and if something like that happens, you just got to go in and then change the background color manually. So the way that I like this is I like the red blob shape, and I'm going to actually just go ahead and delete the text for now. And I'm also, I'm going to delete the cup for now. And I'm going to take the background image and I'm just going to make it the white color that I want it to be. And for right now, this is perfect for what I need it to do. So I'm actually going to take this background and I'm going to download it. And you see you've got multiple different ways that you can download this. You can download it as a web optimized JPEG, which is perfect for my case. You can uh, download it as high res, normal PNG, transparent PNG, and I'm going to show you why that comes in handy later. And then a bunch of other great options as well. So I'm going to download this now. Great. Now we've got that downloaded. And I also want to just quickly show you another thing that we can do. I want to show you going back to page two. I'm going to make another duplicate of this just again so I can always have an original copy. But I'm going to go ahead and delete pretty much um, everything off of this page except for the cup. Now I'm going to take the cup and I'm going to go up to this top corner over here and go to smart resize. And I want this to be 530. No, I'll say about 550 by 550. And I want to make this cup to fill up the center. And I like this feature here that I can align it to the middle and to the center. So I can make it however big I'd like to make it and then align it to the center of the X and Y axis. And then I can click on the product image and Glorify has some really cool features when it comes to products. And this is why I say they really shine when it comes to product imagery, because you can actually go to all their different effects tabs. You can go to crop, you can go to shadow. And I love this shadow feature. You can turn this on or off. You can do a drop shadow and you can change the different um, you know, features of how that drop shadow would look. You know, something like that, and it just kind of pops off the page a little bit. Or you can actually also go into shadow and you can give it a uh, vertical and horizontal distance. So you can actually change and give it this hover effect, which I think is really cool. Um, so, you know, there's a lot of different ways you could use that. I also like how they have this reflection as well. And so you can change the transparency of this reflection. And you get this nice mirrored effect. And I think that's so cool. And you know, not a lot of tools have that. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to delete this reflection for now. I'm going to delete the hover as well, the shadow. And I'm just going to make this fill out the page a little bit more. Now, this background is still yellow. However, I'm not going to worry about that because I'm going to go ahead and download it. And I'm going to download it as a transparent PNG. And that's going to take the background away from the image. And I'm just going to be left with the mug and the spoon and the lid. Now that that's saved, we can see how that's going to be implemented into the actual build out of a landing page here in just a few minutes. But I want to go ahead and create another section of our landing page. So I'm going to go back to page three. And we see that we're back to our normal image ratio. And what I want to do with this is I want to continue on with a similar feel. So I'm going to go ahead and again, I'm going to delete the text. I'm going to delete the snow and I'm going to delete the mug. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to turn this blob around about 180 degrees. And I'm going to give it a similar look that it had but I'm going to do it on the top this time instead of the bottom. 
And then we're just going to quickly look and see how that looks. And I think that looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. And then I'm going to take the background and I'm going to make it white. And I'm going to go ahead and download this as a web optimized JPEG. Now that we've downloaded this, I'm actually going to go back to our very first edit and do one extra little uh, tweak for something else that I want to make. And I'll show you how I do that. So now that we're back at the first image that we created, I kind of just want to take this blob and delete it. And I want to keep these shapes of these um, snowflakes here just to be able to use as a texture on the website. And I might actually even copy these. Let's see if we can copy these and make a couple more. Now I'm just doing this quickly, but this gives me a nice texture that I can put as an overlay. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to download this as a transparent PNG. Now that we've made those different sections, I have enough information here for a full landing page for the section backgrounds. And the only other things that I may want to create are little product images that go onto the website. And we can talk about that in a minute. Now that we've created the backgrounds for the website and the landing page, I'm going to actually go ahead and create some product shots. And I'm going to do this really quickly and I'm going to show you how I created this product shot with this blob. So I went ahead and I found the product that I'm looking to sell and I uh, took the image, erased the background and put it on here like this. And the really cool thing about Glorify and one of the reasons why it excels so much in product imagery is because of its background removal tool. Um, and, you know, just features like that. So I'm going to show you how I did this. I'm going to add a page. And I'm going to go ahead and upload a new image onto Glorify. So we just go to My Files, Uploads, and Upload an Image. Okay, now that we've uploaded our image, I'm just going to uh, make this a little bit bigger just so I have, you know, more room to see it. And what I can do is I can actually look at this image and I can hit BG Remover. And the background removal tool does a really good job at doing this on its own. And, uh, you know, you can actually go in and do some tweaks to it and make it look a little bit better. But, you know, from what I'm looking at now, I think this did a pretty good job. And I'm actually just going to go ahead and then hit save on this. And you can just hit done. And after you do that, it'll just pop right onto your page and generate the result. Let's see how that looks. And now you've got a brand new image with a background. Now let me show you how you can change the background of this. And now you've got a phone that is completely transparent. And uh, you can scale it down to be whatever size that you want it to be. And so I think that's super cool. And so I actually went ahead and I just did that for three phones. And then I'm also going to show you real quick, I'm going to push that off to the side. But one thing I think is really cool is that they have different things that you can upload images. They've got free images where you can search from Pixabay and Pexels.com. You can search for different things. Uh, like if I wanted to bring in a picture of a coffee mug, I can find one on Pixabay, bring it in, erase the background. Same thing with Pexels. I can also go and find shapes um, and illustrations and vectors. And I think that's really awesome. I use those a lot. I can look in the icons and find icons, but I also like to use the blob maker. And you can actually change the contrast and the complexity and kind of get exactly what you're looking for. So I'm kind of looking for something that's not very complex, but has some, you know, contrast to it. And I think this one works for now. I'm going to add that to Canvas. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger, turn it sideways. I'm going to bring this into our brand colors, which again, I could use the, uh, the brand document color and change it into the brand. Or I can um, just upload my color as, a, as the hex value or type in the hex value. And so now what I've done here is I've created a blob and I've created a product and I can actually uh, very easily change the hierarchy of the layers by, um, you know, hitting these buttons here, but I can also go to the layers panel and I can move the image behind the shape or vice versa. And so I can take this image here and I can you know, place it on there and make sure I have it just exactly how I'm looking at it. And I can copy and paste this 
and do the same thing here and copy and paste it one more time and do the same thing here. And so I kind of did something just like this and then I selected everything, made it as big as I you know, was looking to have it. And then I went ahead and used the tools to center align it, align it horizontally and vertically. And then I went ahead and I downloaded this as a transparent PNG. But I'm actually show you the, the one that I created for the landing page. So this is the one that I created. I used three different um, phone cases here and I have this specific blob. So I'm gonna download this as a transparent PNG and we'll put it on the website and we'll see how the website turned out and you can see how I was able to use this tool to create beautiful landing pages. Now, really quick, if you like what you see, make sure that you drop a like and a comment on this video so that more people can check out how to use this awesome tool. Before I show you the landing page, I also just wanna briefly show you that if you're creating a, let's say a square template or you know any kind of template, what's nice is that Glorify gives you these design sets. So I'm just going to quickly go into this, um, one that I made here that I, it doesn't matter if something happens to it because uh, so, I've already downloaded the version that I want. But real quick over to the left hand side, you can see that I can click on this preset which gives me kind of like a social media post template but it has the same vibe of the page that I'm creating. All I would have to do is take this color and add in my brand color to it. And now I'm going to have that same feel from my website to a social media post. And I also want to show you how you can take this whole thing with their design set and you can have Facebook adverts, you can have a large rectangle, Pinterest advert, story post to put on Instagram, a square photo, hero headers, HD banner, HD panorama, product image promo, lifestyle images that have something similar to it call out images, social media covers for Facebook events, cover photos, group cover photos, Twitter, and so much more. This gives you so many ways to go about promoting your landing page and getting traffic to it using imagery that has the same style so that way when they come to the landing page, they get the same type of feel that they saw that brought them there. You can use it for channel art and video thumbnails on YouTube and Vimeo. And uh, what I think is really, really cool is they also have things like ebooks uh, set up in a lot of these design sets. And so because of that, if you were making, let's say, a lead magnet to give out to your email subscribers, you could make a lead magnet have the same design set of your website, of your ads as everything and makes it really cohesive and you stick out. And I just think that's super cool. And it's a feature that I love that Glorify has. So I want to make sure that I share that. Now let's jump into how the website actually turned out. Okay, this is how the website turned out. I called it the snowy station. You can see that we have that same look and feel. We have the white background. We have our uh, red blob here. You can see that when I made this image by itself, I uh, made it a transparent PNG. I was able to put this as an image onto the website. I went ahead and I re-added the shadow back in. I thought it kind of looked cool against the website, but I just put some motion on it. And then you see these um, nice snowflakes up here at the top. This is exactly how we had it in the image when I you know, downloaded it. And then I went ahead and I added the fonts inside the web builder. And then as I scroll down, you can see that I have this second image that I made with some product photography, which has the products that we're selling on the blob. And again, I added some motion to it. Um, I went ahead and I keep going down and I just, I made a couple more images. A lot of these images had backgrounds and I used the background removal tool to take this image off of the, uh, you know, the product. And so this just gives you a nice cohesive look. And then I've got a contact form. And if you notice the snowflakes that I added and I downloaded as a transparent PNG, I'm able to have that now come in and it kind of looks like it's snowing as I uh, scroll down. And so those are a texture piece that I downloaded transparent to put as a background overlay that um, would appear as you scroll down the page. And I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. It's a nice little landing page you know, to put together and you can see how the graphics really add a whole new element to your design. I hope that this helps. 
If you would like me to make another video going into Glorify and showing how I make eBooks and lead magnets for websites and landing pages, then just drop a comment below and I'd be glad to do so. Make sure you like and subscribe and I'll be back soon.